because it is so nice to actually get them out to you guys and get more of something new on the platform rather than just the usual stuff that you guys have been seeing for months and months and months. So today's verses is going to be the Tiki Rooms. We're, there are obviously one Tiki Room in here in Disneyland and there's a Tiki Room at Walt Disney World. So we will be taking a look at both today. Um, let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite, and then after this, through this versus video, let me know if it is the same afterwards. Enjoy! First, we're going to be talking about the Enchanted D Tiki Room in Disneyland. How Disneyland's Enchanted Tiki Room came to be. The following is a short excerpt from the Los Angeles resident historian Chris Nichols' new book, Walt Disney's Disneyland, a meticulously researched and photo-rich photo visual history, out today from Tastian. Just steps away from the Main Street Central Plaza, Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room stood apart as Adventureland's most technically advanced attraction at the time. The Tropical Hideaway opened in 1963 as the first audio animatronics attraction. John Hench designed the space, originally imagined as a Polynesian restaurant, as a cross-shaped room with four wings for seated dining and a central open space for the show. He made a beautiful drawing with all these birds sitting over the tables in their cages chirping down to the people eating. We called Disneyland designer Rolly Crump. Walt <coughs> turned to designer John Hench and said, we can't have birds in there. They will poop on the food. Hench knew how to reassure Walt they would be realistic looking mechanical birds that sing songs. The room where guests all warble like nightingales and tiki's play the drums was quickly changed from the restaurant to an attraction where it became clear that the show was so dynamic that no diner would ever choose to leave waiting visitors assembled in a forecourt for a pre-show walt assigned the design for this area to crump who came across the book voices on the Wind, Polynesian Myths and Chants, written by missionary Catherine Luomala. He used this resource for his sketches of the gods, many of which were grounded on traditional island stories like that of Tangoro, the Maori god of the sea from which all things were created, who proudly says, from my limbs let new life fall. But a few of the concepts were just interesting ideas Crump was toying with. When Hen showed Crump's drawings to Walt, he looked at the one without a name and asked, what does this one do? Hench responded quickly, it's the god of tapa cloth beating. Walt just kind of looked at it and said, clock not missing a beat. John Hench shook his head in agreement and said, it's the guy that tells the time. Walt approved it and the Maori trickster god Maui suddenly became the keeper of tropic standard time. With head sculptor Blaine Gibson unavailable, Crump had to learn how to sculpt the WED parking lot, which was hot enough to keep plasticine malleable. You know what I sculpt with? A plastic fork, one I got right out of the studio cafeteria, he remembered. The pre-show tiki's were captivating, but the show inside had to be spectacular. Walt wanted a hundred birds for the mobile that lowered from the ceiling above. Hench's fountain in the center of the room but Crump had to cut it down to 30 feet in the hidden mechanical equipment. He put a little bit of Vegas on those girls, dressing some of them in sequences. He also added sparkly reflections to the eyes of the drummers so the vibrations of the drum would make them twinkle during the rainstorm, an effect created by Yale Gracie with thin strips of mylar hidden behind bamboo. When Imagineers attempted to replicate a rainstorm using real rain at Walt Disney World in Florida nearly a decade later, they discovered it didn't look as good as the Miler, so they replaced their rain-making system with the original technique, news at Disneyland. Guests have continued to love Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room and its cast of 225 birds singing flowers and chanting tiki gods. 
The iconic attraction was restored as part of the 50th anniversary of Disneyland in 2005 and is still a magnificent production. As the Sherman Brothers song says, most little birdies will fly away, but the Tiki Room birds are here every day. Next, we will be looking at the Tiki Room in Walt Disney World. Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room opened 1971, ride length 15 minutes 26 seconds with a 3 minute and 58 second pre-show. Overview slash history. This sentimental favorite was the first Disney attraction to use audio animatronics exclusively. It originally opened in Disneyland in 1963 as the Enchanted Tiki Room Tropical Serenade. The show has gone through a few changes over the years. The much-loved original version was replaced in 1998 by the Enchanted Tiki Room under new management. The new part was the addition of Zazu from The Lion King and Iago from Aladdin. Fans were not pleased with the redo, and in 2011, the show reopened with the original format, complete with hosts Jose, Fritz, Michael, and Pierre. Article, please do not overlook Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. The show takes place in a tropical pavilion full of flowers, tikis, and audio animatronics, singing and telling jokes. There's even a tropical storm during the performance. If the Magic Kingdom is busy and you're looking for a relaxing break, this 20-minute show is perfect for that. It's rarely crowded and all ages can enjoy it. It's especially cute for the little kids, although some children may be scared by the storm that takes place during the show. Fast Pass. No. Handicapped Accessibility. This attraction is wheelchair accessible for guests requiring assistance with hearing assistant, assisted listening devices to amplify the sounds that are available from guest services. Fun fact, the original plan for the Tiki Room was to have it as a Disney restaurant, not an attraction. Alright guys, and that is it for today versus video. Let me know which Tiki Room is your favorite Tiki Room to visit. I have only ever visited the Disneyland Tiki Room to my knowledge, but when I go to Florida next year, I will definitely visit the other Tiki Room just to see what it's like. One of these days, I do want to do commentary on the Tiki Room under new management because I personally feel like that would be an awesome show. I don't know why people didn't really like it. So I think one of these days, I'm going to do a versus from, like, for the Tiki Room uh, original versus Tiki Room under new management, and we're going to make it a video versus, not a, um, a, uh, a reading versus, like a picture versus. So look out for that. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I will do it. I will write it down on my phone just so we know that it's there. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. I love you guys.